going to be looking at the time. Have you ever wondered why a clock has got two arms? It's got a short arm and a long arm. We're going to be looking at what the long arm tells us today. But first, we need to put some numbers in our clock face. What's the number we start counting with? One. One. Then comes two. Four. Five. Wait, which one of these things is six? No, that's the nine. That's the six. That's the six. Seven. Eight. Nine. It's ten. Eleven. Twelve. Excellent. When our long hand points to the 12, we call that o'clock. 12 o'clock. That is 12 o'clock. But the little hand tells us which number o'clock it is. So now so it is... So that's the hours, that's the minute. That's right. So that's the minute hand, that's the hour hand. That's correct. This is one o'clock. Now it is two O'clock. What is that? Three, Three o'clock. o'clock. I wonder, can you make five o'clock for me? <laughs> what about eight o'clock? What about eleven o'clock? Can you make an o'clock for me and let me guess it? One o'clock. Am I right? Good, make another one. That's yeah. right. Eleven o'clock. I'm going o'clock. to show you how we could write the word o'clock. We write o oh, and then the word clock. That is o'clock. 